Module 5, Spouses and Families, Policies and Perspectives. Key issues addressed in this module. Spouses and families of minors are not aware of their rights when it comes to compensation. Spouses and families of minors lack information concerning compensation claim processes. Mining companies do not provide access to health centers in the mines to spouses and families of minors. Spouses and families of migrant minors back home also struggle to access health services. Lack of knowledge on how to implement infection control measures by spouses and families of minors. High risk of exposure to contracting TB for spouses when minors return home and have limited access to healthcare services. Overcrowding and poor ventilation of houses provided by mining companies increases chances of contracting TB. Inadequate housing for minors to be joined by the spouses and families, especially migrant minors. Spousal separation due to inadequate housing. Lack of clear information for spouses and families on claiming processes and existence of compensation legislation and policy. Constanza is a 35-year-old woman who lives in Shai Shai, Gaza province, Mozambique, with her three children, mother-in-law, and her husband's four siblings. Constanza's husband, Alfonso, works in the mines in South Africa, and he has been working there for 12 years. For three times in the past two years, Alfonso has been sick, admitted into hospital, gotten better and returned to the mines. Even when Alfonso was clearly not well, he has insisted that he has to go back to work because he fears that he will lose his job. When Alfonso gets seriously ill, Constanza has to go to South Africa and she has to bring him back to Shai Shai as he cannot access treatment since he does not have adequate documentation. Even if she wanted to stay longer and look after her husband, the accommodation provided by the mines is overcrowded and comprises predominantly of men. When Alfonso fell sick for the third time and they took him to the hospital in Shai Shai, he was screened for TB. He was diagnosed with TB and was started on treatment. The health worker told her that TB can be transferred through the air and there may be a need for other members of the household to be screened since Alfonso has been coughing seriously. It is important for minors, ex-minors, their spouses and their families to understand the signs and symptoms of TB. TB is an infectious disease. When there's someone in the family who is coughing, it is important to make sure you keep windows open and they should hold their mouths when they cough. This is called infection control. When minors or ex-minors have TB symptoms, that includes persistent coughing, you need to ensure that they get screened. After Alfonso started feeling better and getting stronger, he started to talk about going back to his job in the mine because his contract will be terminated if he missed work for an extended period of time. His family insisted that instead of Alfonso going back to work, Constanza needs to travel and inform his employer about his illness and explore ways of getting some of the money that her husband is entitled to. Upon arriving at his workplace in South Africa, she was also informed that Alfonso was not a part of the workers' union, so she could not be assisted by the union. Constantia had to travel back to Shai Shai with nothing, and they are now struggling because Alfonso was the sole breadwinner. On top of everything else, they do not have adequate food, so Alfonso is not taking his medication as prescribed. Take away messages. Spouses and families of minors and ex-minors need to have information about TB, including signs and symptoms. Minors and ex-minors need to ensure their spouses and families know the processes and procedures for claiming compensation. 
mining companies need to provide support towards safe accommodation and easy access to compensation for workers. Mine workers unions need to provide support that make it easy for spouses and families of mine workers and ex-miners to access compensation in the event of incapacitation due to illness or death. Governments need to work on policy frameworks that promote universal access to health, including for undocumented migrant workers. So, what do you think about the module?